If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Gonna start off with the shoulders, which are the tidal shroud spalders out of Battle of Dazzaralahar. I think I got it right, mythic. Moving on to the chest, which you really can't see behind the tabard. Ancient chest piece, Desolus. There's the boss or the rare and best bet, just buy it on the auction house. Moving on to a Lady Draenei and the belt, Insurgents, Scouring Chain. Crucible of Storms, Mythic, Zazix, or Zazix, oh boy, some of these names are just, the, the weird troll, I would say, is <laughs> the guy you have to get the belt, I think he's a troll, Ancient Ligard's part of the same drop set from Vanilla as the chest, various mobs, or you could buy it on the auction house, now we have a dwarf who's extremely excited to show the Ancient Greaves, which is also uh, a drop from Vanilla, so you have the chest, the legs and the boots all from vanilla drop set grips of harmonious spirits are the hands so the hands the belt and the shoulders are from basically bfa moving on we have a lady troll showing the head which is a quest reward from spires of iraq so that's super easy to pick up the tabard angler's tabard crasserang wilds angler's quartermaster exalted gold couldn't be that much difficult just got to do a lot of fishing death speaker spire is the staff showing the vulpira some luck at the beginning of bfa i said if i could just play a vulpira as a playable race i would be so excited i'd be so excited it would make bfa great uh, I was wrong, but I'm still excited to play Vulpira. <laughs> the Corroded Chest, uh, Valkyr, Chainmail, Trial of Valor, Mythic, Helia is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate. Moving on, we have a Lady Draenei showing Creeping String of Larva. Now that says Elemental Shaman. Uh, the Emerald Nightmare, Mythic. So basically that belt is... Uh, I love that belt, it looks great. Leggings of the Undaunted, Trial of Valor, Mythic, Odin is the boss, kind of a fair drop rate. Right? So the legs and the chest, part of that same Trial of Valor thing. Firelands, Heroic, so you're looking at the shoulders and the gloves, part of the same tier at a Firelands, Heroic. The boots, a little bit of a different, uh, I think those are actually, uh, they're from a different set, but it's also Firelands, Heroic. As you can see, those are the hands. Now we have a Lady Goblin showing the resplendent cloak out of Silithus. Various mobs where you could just step up, buy it on the auction house. Probably the best way to go. The headpiece, Erupting Volcanic Face Guard, which is Firelands Heroic. Moving on, the weapon is the Mindbreaker Scepter Iron Docks. Oh, sheer. Decent drop. Gonna start off with the dwarf and the shoulders. Horrific flesh epaulets. Ice crown citadel, normal mode, 25 man. There's a 12% shot. Fester gut will drop those shoulders just for you. Moving on, the chess piece, fearless combatant chain armor, legion PvP vendor. Eventually, you'll probably be able to buy the set or the piece for marks of honor, but for now, it's alliance only, oh, by the way. Uh, it's the kind of thing you either have or you don't. So the chest and the legs are part of that BFA PVP thing going, so that's Alliance only, by the way. The belt, as you can see, Terrace of the Endless Spring. That belt is really hard to get. I've been having a hard time trying to pick up that belt, but I think it's worth it, and it goes awesome with this set. Now we're going to move on to a troll, and you really can't see the feet here, but they're straight out of Ice Crown Citadel, normal 25-man Lady Death Whisper, 18% on the drop rate. So this is a little bit Legion PvP, a little bit Wrath of the Lich King from Ice Crown Citadel, normal 25-man Fester Gut to drop the gloves. So the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots all from Ice Crown Citadel. Now we're moving on to the headpiece, Max, or Max, Max, call him Max, <laughs> the Howling Storm, that's uh, pretty easy to get. Uh, Storms, Wake, Tabard, Storm Song Valley, Storm Wake, Vendor, Gold and Exalted, pick that up. 
And the last piece is the weapon, Splinter Shard, Ice Crown, Citadel, Sindragosa. Starting off with the Jernai Dude and the Dragon Rider Spalders. I strongly recommend you get this for your Hunter or for your Shaman because I, I think it's a really cool set. It drops out of Isle Expeditions or you can buy it on the Auction House. The Chess Piece Raiment of Shackle Elements. The Nighthold Heroic Croesus is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate to get the chest. Moving on to the belt which is called the Cursed Demon Chain Belt. Hellfire Citadel Mythic. Various mobs drop the belt. Fair drop rate for that belt. Moving on to the back, which is the Ferocious Combatants Totemic Cloak, which is the Legion PvP vendor. Marks of Honor to pick that up. You gotta buy the whole set, by the way. Thank you, Blizzard. Moving on, we have a Torin dude, and he's showing the feet, sort of. Dragon Rider's Boots, Isle Expeditions. Get the drop from the Isle Expeditions, or you can buy it on the Auction House. So basically, you have the shoulders and the boots and the gloves that are all from that Dragon Rider set that drops from Isle Expeditions. But like I said, you can buy it on the Auction House. The cool thing is, is that maybe you get the legs, maybe you get the chest, you sell it, and you buy the pieces that you want for this set. That's the way it works. The Helm of... The Awakened Soul, Burning Throne, Argus the Unmaker, kind of a fair drop rate. Sticking with the Lady Goblin and the Weapon, Fractured Soul Gem Staff, Archimon drops the staff at a Hellfire Citadel. The Shoulders, Mr. Torin says he got them out of Tomb Sargeras Heroic Fallen Avatar, drops the Pauldrons of the Skybreakers well as a lot of stuff you probably don't want if you're farming this particular set. Moving on, the chest is a drop out of Siege of Ogamar, very small. It's kind of a low drop rate to get that special shaman tier chest. Moving on to the belt, we have the Lady Draenei showing the belt, which is that Tomb Sargeras heroic waste guard of Interminable Unity, Priestess Lunaspire drops the belt at about a 10% drop rate. Moving on to the legs, Part of that same Dark Shaman set, Dark Shaman Kilt, various mobs, at a Siege of Ogremar. Moving on, we have a, what is it? That is an, a Dark Iron Dwarf, of course. Black Rock Boots, Red Ridge Mountains, Black Rock Grunts to farm it, or you could just buy it on the auction house to get those brown boots. The Hands, uh, Vice Grip of the unrepentant to miss Argaris heroic kill Jaden as boss kind of a fair drop rate part of the same tier set as the shoulders and the belt and a, look at that that's a panda lady the cloak of certain reprieve nether storm various mobs would be incorrect it's a pvp vendor thing one mark of honor the headpiece is out of the stockade it's a quest reward that's the quest for alliance there's also one for ward and the weapon old year fitted devourer Fair drop rate for the staff. The shoulders are a Legion PvP tier. Vindictive Gladiators Ringmail Spalder. So this is a mix of two PvP tiers basically. As the Zondolari moves very, very slow. Vicious Gladiators, Male Armor, Stormwind Ogremar. The Kata PvP Vendor, three marks of honor to pick up the chess piece. Moving on to the belt and a Lady Cult Tyran showing the Vindictive Gladiator's Ringmail Clasp, Legion PvP Vendor. Well, one mark of honor is what it should cost, but that's the kind of thing when it comes to Legion, you gotta buy the whole set, and that kind of sucks, unless you already have it, which would be kind of great. The Legs, Vicious Gladiator's Ringmail, Leggings, Kata PvP Vendor, Stormwind Ogremar, three marks of honor, so that's pretty straightforward. Moving on to a Dwarf and the Feet, which are out of Ice Crown, Mind Tricks. It's a quest reward, Dark Speakers, Sabatons. Really worth getting. It goes with a lot of Shaman and Hunter sets. The Hands, Vindictive Gladiators, Ringmail Gauntlets, Legion PvP Vendor. So basically the shoulders, the gloves, the belt, and the helm all part of the Legion PvP tier. The back is also Legion, but that's at a Trial of Valor. Guarm is the boss. To pick up the back, the headpiece, Vindictive Gladiators, Ringmail, and Helm. 
is uh, Legion PvP Vendor once again, and the weapon, Arcanic of the High Sage, Skyreach, High Sage drops it. This is Luxley saying, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning or afternoon or night, make your day epic. Thanks for watching.